going to do a quick makeup tutorial for you. We've got Kimmy here already with her perfect little ballet bun. And we've got Brenna who's going to do the makeup. So this is the eyeshadow palette that we recommend. Really anything that has a lot of different like neutral shades but has some dark browns, maybe a black in there. So we're going to first start off with the lighter shade and we're going to apply that all over her lid. Will you put your head up a little bit for me, Kimmy? Thank you. And dancers ages eight and up, they should be putting on foundation, blush, all that kind of stuff. For younger dancers, they just need a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of brown. But for older dancers, you just want to have the whole lid covered in a neutral shade. Then Brenna's going to go in the fluffy brush and go into kind of the medium brown. We want to build up color instead of going right to the darkest. We're going to make our way there, but just not yet. She's just pressing that into the crease of the eye and the outside of the eye, which is kind of that eye socket. You can almost feel it on your dancer as you're swirling. This will buff out the eyeshadow, help blend everything in. Get a little bit more. You can always build up. You don't need to get a lot of color right away. You can keep building. And then she's gonna yeah, build up even more, build into a deeper, darker brown. And yeah, always wanna start on the outside so that's where most of the color goes. And then you can blend inwards. You don't have as much color on the inside of the eye. Kind of gives a cat eye look. And the same motion, circular motions, blending. You can bring that little bit of that lighter and darker eyeshadow in a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to take a different brush. It's a little bit of a smaller one so that we can take this darkest color and go in lightly to that outer V. Get a little bit more color and stay in the crease. And I kind of just pat it on there at first and then you can smooth it out. And if you need to, you can always go back in with the brush you used before, blend it out a little bit, buff it out, go back in with a lighter color, go right on top of what she just did, make everything kind of have no harsh lines. Yeah, take a nice fluffy brush after that and you can blend out all those lines. All right, and that is an easy, smoky eye. And look at you've got a little bit of definition on the outside, staying dark but not dark in the inside. Now for the eyeliner, you could use liquid liner or we have a simple little hack. We have an angled brush and we've just dipped it into the darkest eyeshadow out of that palette. And then you can have your eyeliner go right across the lash line. And if you want to use an eyeshadow, it doesn't make it as difficult to be perfect. You can kind of just smudge it out and blend it out. But eyeliner is important if dancers are wearing fake eyelashes because it helps eliminate any eyelid space if you're doing eyeliner. We kind of like to wing it out a little bit so that when you put the lashes on it, it helps with that effect. Um, this actually isn't that dark, so you, it would be better to use a black shadow or a black liner. So now we're going to do false eyelashes for Kimmy since she's under the age of 10. We're just not doing too big of fake eyelashes. They're Demi's or the Ardell 110. They're nice and small, not too big. For the older teens, you can take a bigger, more wispy, full lash. Anything at the drugstore is fine. And Brenna's going to take some eyelash glue. She's going to run it right along the top of that eyelash. It's right on the lash band. I got a little bit 
much on there, but it dries clear, so yeah. And then we're gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit because if you let this eyelash get a little bit tacky, it's easier to put on Kimmy's eye and then it will stay. If she opens her eyes, it won't move as much. So if you just wait a few moments. A little bit tacky now, so I'm just gonna have Kimmy close her eye and you're gonna just go right onto the lash line. This isn't the easiest thing in the world. And let them sit right on top of their real lashes. Sometimes you're gonna have to cut, um, like these are a little bit too long for her eye. See how it goes all the way out? Um, in this case, you would wanna cut these a little bit right here so that when Kimmy open your eye it's not attached to the outside of her all right and there are the false lashes <laughs>